time we saw Juventus against Sampdoria. He changed the formation after only a matter of minutes. Here's Banjo now in superb form at the moment. Viali. Brought by Carrera. Now Baggio. So with Lazio Orsi. But getting the vote now ahead of Fiori. Dismay for Lazio and Signori. That was a great it's Angelo Peruzzi a couple of weeks ago when Juventus took on Sampdoria. And he's excelled himself again there with that marvellous serve. Joe is there too. Rivera racing for keeper in Italian football. And he did against Signori, who played wide on the left. And it was a rather unfamiliar role for him, and one he didn't seem to adapt to of his customary aplomb. For the match, free kick to Juventus. Banjo. Alia. Baggio. Thinking well with Di Canio. Baggio again. Orchestrating things for Juventus. Here's Di Canio. Another very talented player on his day, Di Canio, but frustratingly inconsistent. Fouzer back trying to mark him. And the goalkeeper did extremely talented player on his day. Fouzer back trying to mark him. A little bit. I like it when Baggio's on the ball. I think. When Baggio's on the ball for Juventus, you, you, you get the feeling something's going to happen. He's playing very deep, and I think uh, as it gets tighter in there, then he'll perhaps get himself into the penalty area. He's doing that now. Right on cue. Baggio 1-1. Oh, fabulous finish. And such a penetrating build-up then by Juventus. Torricelli involved, and Baggio showing his awareness to slot it in. Well, yes, I was just saying, he's been playing deep, and he's been playing deep, and nobody's been picking him, picking him up, and uh, at some stage in the game, I felt he had to get a bit forward, and, and he'd done that perfect timing, lovely slide ball into him, and he's just kept his head and tucked it under the goalkeeper. It was a wonderful pass, you know, it's, it's beat, what, four or five players with one pass. Baggio sneaked in behind. Look at that, outside of his right foot, sneak. But nothing comes off or hit this time. Baggio. All revolving around him for Juventus. Well, Heitz Riedler. Gets up very well. Uh, really, he needs a couple of balls from, from a different angle for him to really have a go at goals. I fancy it. She losing out, but snapping back into the tackle on Merla. Roberto Baggio. Lazio nil. Juventus won. If I confused you, he can do that job, but he was also very good on the ball. It's an extra bonus. Goes Viali. Almost. Viali was the player who met that one at the far post. Almost up challenge. Baggio away. Ba Roberto Baggio. Not related, in case you're worrying. No wonder. Maybe build something on their own now. Coming more into the game, though, Arden Binter, very influential player. With Kula. At the moment, they look really solid, and uh, they're prepared to let Lazio come through the middle of the pitch. I think Lazio have got to get some, some whips and Juve defence. Big trickery by Binter, who thought he was tripped. Certainly Badger was. A little bit of retribution there, and only a yellow card. Look, because now, if he does anything silly, he's going to be off the pitch. That's a reckless challenge. I mean, it's in the, where is he? Is he Donicelli, good running here by Baggio, Carino is with him, what a tangle these two are having, down goes Carino, Pavali with the header, Baggio, Di Canio to Baggio, great skill by Baggio, there. Conte, Baggio, losing out to Carino to the holes that he's leaving. Di Canio with the corner. Viali almost made it. Baggio! And it'll roll into the grateful arms of Fernando Orsi. <laughs> Never job. <laughs> Baggio's got more hair on off a look. <laughs> Nick chip through. Baggio, they know all about each other, having played together at 
Torino a few seasons back. Renewing an old acquaintance today. Ten minutes into the second half. Lazio one, Juventus one. Cola. Cocte with Baggio. Carino. Here's Baggio now. Up to Viali. Now, does he have the pace here? Oh, brought Lazio back into this game. Baggio now, though, for Juventus. Off goes Jurgen Cola, who wasn't a call. And certainly came off Riedler. Here's Gallia. As Juventus played themselves. Now as to Juventus, there's no question of them just sitting back, then looking for a victory as well. Roberto Baggio. Viali. Off goes Baggio. Away from Fuser. Dino Baggio. Is Roberto. That's 12 goals for him this season. And Torino have pulled a goal back against Inter. Enzo Schifo, the Belgian international. So that's now Torino 1, Inter 2. We're also economy at the moment, so they've lost the services of both of them. Rosati is the fourth member, playing at the back for Lazio today. Baggio, showing good determination. Yeah, they're, they're trying to go through the middle all the time, and it's when they, when they get wide, they look dangerous. A mistake has let Baggio in. He can't fight Viali there because Bacci is there. Another man who's been quietly impressive today, Bacci, and of course had that excellent run to in the first half that nearly produced a goal. That has produced a yellow card. Or Fuse. Ridiculous, really. But everything Baggio's done has been pure class. Here's Baggio now. It's an excellent pass to Galia, the transgressor, decides the referee. But again, such vision shown by Baggio with the pass. Oh, that was a wonderful ball. I mean, he's threaded that through, what, four or five defenders there. Absolute perfection. And I think Baggio... It's an excellent pass to... Free kick goes Juventus' way. Baggio turning Bacci. Here's Viali. Now that for Baggio, wondering what support he has, and then elegantly into the path of Torres. They've, they've had to get past him, and he's played extremely well with the ball, but he's done a great job defensively for Juventus. This attack, and they've done so effectively enough. Down goes Baggio, fell by Bacci. So where does uh, Gazza score? Well, just watched his first uh, turn as it's played off towards Viali. Lazzari with him, and Viali's got away from Lazzari. Still Viali. And he's taken it too far, surely. So we're... Oh, ...of instincts and uh, wants the ball to feed. If anything, I would say if Vinter isn't... Pignori with the free kick. Gallia's header up, back to Signori. Another chance to cross it in. Fuzer. Casiraghi back defending. Baggio. <laughs> Little flick off. And he was caught by Bacci. Not for the first time. The Signori. It's Baggio now. Away from one tackle and from Dole as well. Cock. It's very unlucky not to sneak it in the near post. Baggio taking the corner quickly. Gallia. Baggio again. Whipping it across. Cola to tidy up. Now Vinter. Here's Bacci. Gallia to Baggio. Got another kick from behind, and it was Bacci again. So he. Juventus hoping to threaten at the other end now. Baggio with Bacci. These two have been niggling at each other for some time now. Baccio very unhappy, so is Bacci. And the referee stepping in in no uncertain fashion. I think the referee could get a yellow card for that. <laughs> in possession with the throne. And I think the Lazio players are, are not been uh, 
too happy with Baggio. He's played so well today. Look at him teasing him at the moment. Carrera. Now Conte. But it's all over. And it's finished 1 1. Uh, Roberto Baggio had given his side the lead on 14 minutes.